We're reflecting this week on reconciliation, and I love the Eucharistic prayers for reconciliation in the back of the Missal, because they focus on what Jesus has done for us. So when you think of Jesus' incarnation, he's reconciling already in his person the distance between God and humanity by becoming one, by bringing those two realities together in his own person. When we look at Jesus' ministry, he's healing the sick, he's forgiving sinners, he's touching the leprous, he's raising the dead. Um, He's bringing the people back who have been broken off from the community or are fractured or wounded in, in their own inner life. Let's think of the Eucharist. Jesus feeds us with his healing body and blood. And then ultimately on the cross, he embraces everything in us that's broken, sinful, and dead and lifts it up to the Father in one tremendous act of sacrifice. So reconciliation is what Christianity is all about. And we live in a world that profoundly needs healing and reconciliation to overcome divisions, to even overcome hatred and violence. So a good question to ask ourselves as we continue to move through Lent is, how am I a healing presence in my marriage, in my family, at work, in my parish? Are there people that need um, healing in my life? How can I pray for them? How can I minister to them? Putting all the broken pieces back together is what Jesus does for us. And he asks us to go forth in his name and do the same.